This video is the first of a series of videos showing you how to use our new EMS scheduling system through its virtual interface or web interface. There are two ways to get to the system, either from the Bay College website under the My Bay pull down menu, schedule an event, or if you are in the My Bay portal, you would simply click on the quick links EMS scheduling. Either way, it takes you to the same virtual interface for our EMS scheduling. This is the page that you will be presented with when you go to that system. There are four tabs across the top. My Account, Create an Account, Reservations, and Browse All. The My Account link is simply a login prompt that allows you to log in if you are an employee or a student and you have an Active Directory user ID and password or there's a create an account link for our external customers or our business and industry and nonprofit customers to actually create an account and be able to log in via this icon into our system. There's also a reservations uh, tab which when you're not logged in you're presented with a simple request form called a facilities request. However once you do log in as you'll see in later videos you will have, you'll be presented with a bunch of templates that are available for scheduling on our campuses. The Browse All icon, it presents you with a list of events that are scheduled in our calendar. It opens in the weekly list format, however there are other formats available, a daily list, a monthly list, weekly calendar, a monthly calendar. The default is simply the weekly list. Now you can see that in this weekly list, there is a start and a stop time for the event, a title for the event, and the user or group that's putting that event on. You can also hover over to see who the event coordinator for that particular event is, or you can click on it if you want to see where its location is, or if you want to add it to your own personal calendar. You would simply click on this icon. You can also click on the All Dates tab which will show you if this particular reservation has multiple bookings and you wanted to add all of those bookings to your personal calendar you can do so by clicking add all bookings to personal calendar up here. If you are just on the selected date and you want to add one booking to your calendar you would use this icon. Now let's go back to the main part of the website and if you click on the icon up here it will always return you to this site. Down here we have a few commonly used calendars for ease of use we've created links. So if you're curious what's going on at the Bay West campus rather than having to go to the all events calendar and then having to use the filter which is a very powerful filter and allows you to filter by building or by campus you can simply go to the main page, Bay West Calendar. And when you click on that, you'll see anything that's going on at the Bay West. And you can click on Weekly Calendar, Monthly List, Weekly List, and a Daily List. And again, you would see the same information that you saw before. And you would see if there is someone uh, who is set as an event coordinator and you need to get a hold of them, you could easily do so. We go back. We have also some events that are by type. So in this case, ITV events, which we have a lot of on our campuses, we actually have a calendar that's specific to ITV events. So if you were wanting to add ITV events to your own personal calendar, you could come out here, click on the event, and simply add them to your calendar. We also have quick reference tips right here which tells internal users, which are our employees and students, to simply use the login under My Account up here. Or if you are an external user, to go ahead and create an account and that we will process that account within 24 hours and get back to you. There's also information down here for our business and industry and nonprofit groups and contact information as well as our Bay College employees. Um, and our students. But for now if you click on the campus maps to go to a building and you wanted to see the actual map this will show you the lot that belongs with what building. To learn how to schedule an event watch our next video scheduling an event through the virtual EMS system.